We also want to uh, use the UTR to dig into one of tomorrow's matches. You know what it is by now. It's a new algorithm the industry is using to analyze players using strength of opponent and number of games won, margin of victory last 12 months. We're going to take a look at Kevin Anderson and Philippe Kohlschreiber today. Their tour rankings, number eight for Anderson, number 28 for Kohlschreiber. But what does the UTR tell us? Looks, look, Brett, you're trying to trick me with math again. But well, like but there's, there's there's more to this story, isn't it there? It looks like the it's clay even. UTR. But then the clay UTR right there, and Cole Schreiber nudges ahead. Remember, he got to the finals last week, losing in the finals in Germany to his countrymen, Sasha Zverev. Kevin Anderson, only so far in clay, I believe this year, was second round loss to Tsitsipas. So there you in go. In Estoril. In Estoril. Yeah. So this is, I think this is an interesting in Madrid, all these big servers coming through. You've got, es, you've got Isner, you've got Del Potro, you've got Anderson. Because of the altitude, I think it really helps them with their serve. And then their kick serve as well really jumps in, in the altitude. So that'll be an interesting match. And the serve to the one-hander of Cole Schreiber, I think that's really an important part of the match. All right, don't forget, you can get your UTR rating by going to myutr.com. Also, uh, UTR announcing a new initiative today. It's their Road to the NCAAs campaign. They're going to be following the top 10 men's and women's programs heading into the NCAA tournament. And it's so interesting, this comes right on the heels of Stephen Armitage moving from the USTA to the UTR. Stephen was the head of college tennis for the USTA, and it seems like we're already seeing his impact at UTR. Yeah, absolutely. The first round of the NCAAs are this weekend. It's 16 of the top teams on the men's and the women's are the hosts of three other teams, play number first round and second round over the weekend, and then they go to Wake Forest. All right, so uh, we look forward to having coverage of the tournament for you on Tennis Channel. One more look at the matches tomorrow from Madrid, Gofan and Edmund to start. What do you think, uh, which one of these two Canadian men will be representing the Maple Leaf, which has already itself advanced to the quarterfinals? Well, being an old codger, I'm going to go with the young gun. I'm going to go with uh, Shapovalov. I think that uh, that lefty... Wait, who are you going with? Shapovalov. Okay. Because I think the leftiness is going to cause problems with the roundage backhand. Okay, all of that. That's 6 a.m. Eastern starting tomorrow on Tennis Channel. These are the TC Plus matches. We just talked a bunch about Cole Schreiber and Anderson. How about the Bryans getting started? All of a sudden, they're having a great year. They're completely blossoming again. They're playing so well. And Zvera, he looks sharp today as well. Number two seed. Could he possibly make a dent in this tournament as well? Go deep and trouble Rafa. Would be his third Masters 1000 title. It's going to do it for us on TC Live. We'll see you tomorrow, 6 a.m. Eastern. For Paul and Tracy and our entire crew, I'm Brett. Day 5, Madrid on the way at 6.